The ropes phases of instruction can be used to help you in planning a lesson or even a section of a lesson. While I don't think you'll find this model surprising, it does provide a nice checklist and a sequence for supporting adult learning. In the first phase, you should review any key concepts that participants should be familiar with and relate to their prior experiences that they have with the lesson topic. You could ask a few pre-assessment questions or have a short discussion of their related experiences. The overview serves to establish a connection between participants and the lesson content. You're setting the stage for the class. It should engage them and motivate them to learn. You might have an interesting scenario or problem, a story, or a surprising statistic. You can share with them the objectives and the agenda for the class, or perhaps solicit their own learning goals. Presentation refers to the major content learning portion of the class. It doesn't necessarily mean that you are lecturing. You should segment the content into manageable chunks, use relevant visuals or examples, and provide demonstrations. The E is for exercise. The purpose of this phase is to give students the opportunity to apply, discuss, or practice the training content. You might have case studies, role plays, practice exercises, or small group discussions. Last is the summary, where students and instructors summarize and clarify what was learned. You might have a short quiz and give feedback, have students give a synopsis of key learning points, or plan for how they will put their new skills into action. Thanks for watching. This video was produced by the National Network of Libraries of Medicine. Select the circular channel icon to subscribe to our channel. Select a video thumbnail to watch another video from the channel.